Hi, this is how the cheapest DIY microphone sounds. This is not a DIY microphone. This is not a DIY microphone. And this is not a DIY microphone. Next, I will show you how to build this cheapest DIY microphone with some variations. After that, build an echoic chamber, kind of. To compare these microphones, and to complete this project, I will use this DIY microphone as EMI detector. But first, microphone. There are many cheap options. I ordered this small microphone capsule and this big capsule. This is priced for 10 pieces. A microphone is easy. Solder wires and it's ready to record audio. To record on a phone, four conductor cable is needed instead of three conductors. Uh, newer iPhones need a lightning adapter. This is very small microphone capsule. I'm not planning to compare it because price and shipping it is too expensive for this test and bigger capsule should be better. If you want to go more advanced, you can make a stereo microphone. If you want to make a USB microphone, you can get this or this USB sound card and plug-in microphone. This is microphone amplifier board. It can use power from USB. It is very sensitive. Sensitive. I cannot test here and I cannot test here. I need some improvements. I have carpet, I have pillows, and I have blankets. I saw one interesting solution hanger with a towel, but this requires many nails on the wall, and I would like to avoid this. And here is my brilliant idea. I bought these PVC pipes, they was cheap. I cut pipes, I 3D printed these two types connectors. This one is 5-way connector and this is 3-way connector with 45 degree angle. And I can build almost anything with these two connectors. Wall is easiest, frame, blanket, clamps. And it was done without nails. With this angle connector, frame can be anywhere in the room. Clumps. Ta-da! I can even make room inside the room. Testing, testing, one, two, three. An anechoic chamber is eh, but as room acoustic treatment, it's very cheap and effective. It's very fast to assemble and disassemble. Not everyone is happy about additional construction. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now my plan is to wait until the night to get minimal noise from outside. To make proper test, I use only batteries. Light with batteries, camera on the batteries, all microphones are recording with batteries. Uh, first step to measure noise level. I'll go to another room. This is lowest noise what I can achieve at night. I also want to test iPhone microphone together with other microphones. Okay, I placed all microphones on equal distance here. I will use these two spoons to synchronize, but also I need to have equal peak. These are six files from microphones in DaVinci Resolve. Play, they have different loudness. They are on volume zero. I can align the spoon sound manually, but the voice is more complicated. Select all files, normalize, true peak minus 5 dB, looks better, play, each clip got a new volume. Now I can use these numbers to adjust each file. I'll go to another room again. I want to record self noise from all microphones at the same time. I'm here again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 Testing, testing, one, two, three.
Testing, testing. One, two, three. This microphone capsule is great. For its price. Other microphones are much better and price represents quality or features at least. Comparing microphones noise level like apples to apples was successful. There can be some questions related normalization levels, but scientifically it was failure from the beginning. I do not have proper tool to measure noise level. Can iPhone measure below 20 dB? I don't know. I was not able to find any technical information about iPhone's microphones. For example, this Audio-Technica AT2020 has self-noise 20 dB. It's very close what iPhone showed in the room. And Sennheiser has self-noise 15 dB. It is even lower. When I started this project, I just wanted to know how big is the difference between cheap microphone capsule and mass-produced microphones. I have not protected this capsule against electromagnetic interference, EMI. And I think it was great achievement, because this capsule can work as EMI detector. Have you ever heard how Bluetooth sounds? I will use this external recorder and DIY microphone. Bluetooth is disabled on this phone. I enable Bluetooth. This portable monitor is off, but power is still connected. And this is a mouse. When I move it, this is Wi-Fi access point and this is how Wi-Fi sounds. And I can block it with my hand. EMI detector is limited, but it's cheap and works. I was getting strange sound on PC speakers, now I know it's coming from the mouse. And I also was getting strange noise in addition on this wireless road microphone. Now I have tool to find EMI source. Bye.